Hi, this is Robin Feicht at Stamping Country. I've had a lot of requests lately for coloring, simple coloring techniques. So I'm going to do that today with this little Free as the Bird card. I'm going to use the Free as the Bird and the Stitch Nest Labels dies. And then I'm also going to use the Brick and Mortar 3D embossing folder. Isn't that a great backdrop for these birds? I think it looks fabulous. So we're going to start with a piece of Whisper White cardstock that's cut four inches by five and a quarter. We're going to layer that on a Whisper White card base. And we're going to go ahead and stamp our set of birds with Tuxedo Black Memento ink, which is a water-based ink because we're going to use alcohol markers or our Stampin' Blends. So we'll go ahead and stamp those. And we're going to stamp these a second time on another little piece of paper because we're going to cut this out with a stitch nested label dies. It's going to give a little more depth. Besides our coloring, we're going to pop up this top layer too. Now I wanted a little bit more leaves, so I'm going to this these leaves were also in the Freeze the Bird stamp set. The scale is just a little bit bigger, but it seems to look fine, so I'm going to go with it. Don't worry about overlapping the birds because it's not going to show because we're going to put the label on top. So just go ahead and put just a little bit of extra greenery. Then we're going to cut out our top layer of birds with our stitch nested label. I'm going to run that through my cutting machine. Super simple. And now we're ready, <clears throat> excuse me, to color. We're gonna, I'm going to use some soft shades. So I'm going to use light so saffron and light petal pink. And then we're also going to use our set of crumb cake stampin' blends. So I'm going to start by coloring the breast with the light petal pink. Notice how I left a little bit of white. And then I'll go around it with the light so saffron. And I'm just blending those two colors together. And then I'm going to go in anywhere where it's not his breast, or I, I did a little bit of the head in the yellow too, um, with the crumb cake. And then we'll use the finer tip on the crumb cake Stampin' Blend to highlight where some of those lines are for his feathers. We'll do the same thing again. Again, notice I left a little bit of white. And then we'll go around with the yellow, or the so saffron. And then we'll do the crumb cake. I'm not overthinking this. I'm just sort of blending and having fun. I find coloring very relaxing. We'll do the little bit of highlights again. And we'll cut, oops, I just did the breast with the, the So Saffron. Well, we'll just go around it with Petal Pink and see what happens. What do you think? Can you tell a big difference? I think I'm not gonna stress about it and leave that bird just a little bit different. I think he looks just fine. He's unique from his brothers and sisters. And then we'll color the fourth bird with the So Saffron on the breast. And we'll blend in a little bit of Petal Pink. Or, yeah, I did Petal Pink and then So Saffron. And then the Crumb Cake. And then we'll highlight with some darker. Not too bad. I wished I would have left just a little bit more white space, so I'm going in with the color lifter and sort of blending that, a couple of those out. We'll do his beaks with pumpkin pie. Super easy. Oh, let's get that little tail just in case it shows. Now let's go for these leaves. I'm going to use my combo set of Old Olive Stampin' Blends. And we'll just start coloring those in quickly. And then I'll go back with the darker and just hit some highlights. Don't overthink this. You just want to give a little depth. By using two tones of the Old Olive, you can see that it gives it a little more depth and makes it pop a little bit. You can see about what we need to color on the scene behind. I tend to overcolor the scene behind because I like coloring, but that's okay. You can be more precise if you want. It doesn't really matter if you're having fun, just go for it. So I'm going to do the same thing with the leaves. We're going to color 
with the light old olive. And you can see that those bigger leaves, they look just fine. But they add a little extra interest. And then I'll go back with my dark old olive, hit some highlights, give it a, more of a two-toned look. I am using the finer tip of the darker for the darker just because it's easier these leaves aren't all that big Ooh, it's looking pretty good now I'm going to use another light color this is called purple posy it's a new um, in color I'm using the lighter first the, this color sort of reminds me of some clematises I have blooming in my garden right now. I'll show a picture of the clematises on my blog. So I colored them all light, and then I'm going to go back and just give a little highlight with a dark purple posy. Just make some pop a little bit. And I'm not overthinking it. I'm trying to just shade where I think there will be shadows and where I need the depth. And then we'll do the branch. I'm going to use a smoky slate. Just because I, I thought about using the crumb cake, but I wanted the branch to look a little different than the birds. And then I'll go back and just highlight some of those lines with the darker smoky slate. Looks fabulous. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to subscribe and hop on over to my Stampin' Country blog for more details about this card. Have a fabulous day.